Welcome to the Aggie Jumpstart webinar. Um, we are so excited to have you here and have you learn a little bit more about Aggie Jumpstart and especially excited to have you join us at UC Davis as Aggies. We'll start with some introductions of the presenters on today's webinar. I don't know what order we're going in, <laughs> so I'm just going to go first because my picture's there first, so um, I hope that's okay, Greg. So my name is Lily Bynes. I'm one of the academic advisors. If you had any time to look at the Aggie Jumpstart web, uh, website, I think um, I might be one of the first pictures on there too. So it's so nice to meet you. Um, as I said, I'm one of the academic advisors and part of this um, awesome program. And one fun fact about me is that I'm actually originally from San Diego County and I have been working and went to school up here in Northern California. And um, yeah, so I think that that can be sometimes surprising to people is that I went all the way from San Diego to Northern California. So I just wanted to share that about myself. Nice to meet you all. And I think I'll stay on camera, I guess, until we all get a chance to um, introduce ourselves. Um, let me see, maybe I'll just go ahead and, um, there's Leslie. <laughs> hey everybody, my name is Leslie. I um, work at the Internship and Career Center and I am the coordinator for the career discovery groups, which I'll talk about later. Um, I actually am from the Central Valley originally. So if there's any of you from the 559, the 209, I feel like, <laughs> you know, we're all kind of there in the Central Valley. Um, anyway, welcome. Um, and let's see. Um, I'm really excited to talk to you all today about Aggie Jumpstart and, um, you know, some of the opportunities through the College of Agricultural and Environmental Sciences that are unique to this college. And congratulations on your acceptance to one of the best colleges at UC Davis. <laughs> um, I'm an alum, but I'm actually an alum of a different college. That's okay. Um, I got my uh, Bachelor of Science in Psychology um, as an undergrad, and I came back to UC Davis to work in student affairs um, in January of 2011. So I've been here for a little while. So, um, and I will share more later. So thanks for listening. Good evening and welcome. Uh, this is Cirilo Cortez. I am the director of the Center for Chicanx and Latinx Academic Student Success and also the Chicanx and Latinx Retention Initiative. And we are partnering with the Aggie Jumpstart program in the College of Agriculture, Environmental Science. It's my pleasure to welcome you. And uh, we'll be talking a little bit about how we uh, create opportunities for uh, students from diverse backgrounds to uh, try to connect with different centers of support, including El Centro or C-Class for short, and also the Native American Academic Student Success Center as well as the African Diaspora Student Success Center. Uh, and we also uh, work very closely with the director of the Asian Pacific Islander community. And we're all together partner with uh, Aggie Jumpstart to provide you with an experience, a first year experience that, that connects you to the resources. Uh, a little bit about myself, I'm from uh, Clear Lake or Lake County, uh, a very small community, not too far from Davis. And I'm also an alumni from this great university. Uh, I was here as a graduate student, did my master's and my doctor work. And a fun fact, uh, I like to, uh, anything related to soccer, uh, World Cups and whatnot. I even play FIFA a little bit on my free time, uh, one of the, the video games. Uh, so I like to have fun with, uh, with soccer in general. And I look forward to seeing a lot, lots of games once sports uh, returns after COVID-19. But uh, welcome and uh, look forward to chatting more with you about how we support students. Hello, my name is Destiny Soto. I'm a participant of Aggie Jumpstart from this last year. Um, I'm a first year student. Um, 
Uh, I will be talking about my experiences with Aggie Jumpstart. And a fun fact about me is that I have play been playing trombone since the sixth grade. Hello, everyone. My name is Carmen Huitron. I am majoring in animal science. Um, I am from SoCal, and I'm also here to share my experience. A fun fact about myself is during my fall quarter, I was I took a class called Animal Science One where I was able to learn how to flip a sheep. Um, FYI, no sheeps were harmed. <laughs> That's awesome. You know, um, part of college is, oh look, there's Carmen, there's Carmen. Part of college is also being able to bounce back and, and you know, making little stumbles and mistakes along the way. But now that Carmen's got her camera on and we know it works, we're all gonna be turning off our cameras so that you can focus on the PowerPoint presentation and then we're gonna turn them back on at the end for the Q&A um, part of the presentation. All right, so um, we wanted to go ahead and start by giving an overview of what we'll be talking about today and also about using Zoom. So, Cirilio? Absolutely. So, a little bit about today's uh, webinar. Uh, first, uh, we're going to review what the Aggie Jumpstart overview is about, uh, the program itself, the uh, program components. So, there's different parts to uh, the Aggie Jumpstart, and then uh, the different work done to talk about the results of, of last year and uh, hopefully inspire you to consider this great opportunity. Um, we're going to review as well uh, what should you do next if you are interested in joining this uh, great program for first year students. And then at the end, uh, the live will be reviewing some question and answer to be able to ensure that you're uh, we're answering all your questions uh, and you are able to use the Q&A section uh, down your screen. Uh, that way we can monitor your, your uh, questions and then we can provide you also with answers. And at the end, of course, during the Q&A, we will be reviewing that so to ensure that we have answered your questions. So you can ask questions during the presentation, and if you want to ask them anonymously, you can do that as well. You could submit questions anytime during the presentation, but we may hold on to answering those until the very end of the presentation, especially because some of your questions may be uh, mentioned along the way, okay? So as you probably have already reviewed, because you're attending our webinar today, um, Aggie Jumpstart is one of the newest programs in the College of Agricultural and Environmental Sciences. It's specifically designed to support first generation of college students. I myself am a first generation to college graduate. And so this was a very important um, program for me to be a part of. And it was a great opportunity. And I've loved working with our first class of Aggie Jumpstart students this first year. This program offers opportunities to build community, develop uh, professional development, leadership, and service op opportunities. So it's already a way for you to start building your college resume in your first year. It's also a great way to meet your peers, your other first year students, our campus partners, some of whom you've already met, and we're going to go over those folks a little bit more in detail. Um, the retention communities, um, which is just an amazing additional um, service and resource on campus, and also uh, getting connected to academic and professional success through the Internship and Career Center. And of course, you know, all of this is centered to become a stronger part of the Davis community in your first year. All right, and what you see here is the beautiful hodgepodge of um, support that we have for you through Aggie Jumpstart. This is the team from um, 2019 to 2020. So this last year in our inaugural year. Um, and the folks that are on this um, 
this photo represent our retention initiatives, re represent our college partners, represent the internship and career center, the career discovery groups, um, and some of our community service um, and leadership development as well. So these are the faces that you will get to know over the next year um, and throughout your time here at UC Davis. Right, so I'll just go over a little bit of the program components and then um, throughout the presentation, we're gonna go into more detail um, on each of these different components. So there's five main components of Aggie Jumpstart that Lily um, spoke about as well. Um, first is individualized advising. So that's a connection with the college advisors to really help um, support you throughout your first year. In addition, there's the career discovery group course. So you will have a, an academic course that um, you'll be able to have throughout the same section throughout the three quarters that you're enrolled in the course. And it helps to support you in your career and professional development through your first year and really doing some of that guided exploration of um, where you want to go at UC Davis and how you want to develop those skills. In addition, there's a service component where um, we as a community, as an Aggie Jumpstart community, go out into the um, greater Davis and Sacramento um, communities and Yolo County communities and do acts of service to support um, different populations within this area. Leadership development. So, um, you know, really looking at the skills that you want to gain in the leadership in leadership roles at UC Davis and helping to um, identify those areas for growth and provide opportunities to develop those leadership skills. And then community um, community events where you're really able to find your sense of belonging here at UC Davis and build those tight knit communities here. Um, yeah, so next we'll go into those components a little bit more in detail. So let me tell you a little bit specifically about advising. There's a lot, a lot of advising at UC Davis. And um, specific to Aggie Jumpstart, uh, we are going to be working collaboratively with you as a student participant in the program to get you connected with, you know, where's the right place to go? I mean, number one, that is like the most important thing. But I want to speak to you um, more specifically about who you are and what you're bringing to the program. Hanora and I take a holistic approach to advising. And what that means is that we want to see you for who you are as an entire person and as a whole without making any assumptions. Uh, we recognize that who you are when you first start at UC Davis will evolve throughout the year. And we want to be there to support that um, evolution and learning in that first year. So I'm going to speak for myself here, but I know that Hanora and I have a very similar advising style. As a part of our advising interactions, I am going to support your goals. I'm going to also encourage your exploration. I'm going to challenge you to try new things. And I might even caution you when you are taking on a little bit too much or encourage you to play it safe sometimes. And if you have any stumbles or doubts or fears along the way, I'm going to encourage you. I'm going to be your cheering section. And sometimes I'm just going to be there to just listen. All of this will be personalized based on how well we can get to know each other. And so that does take a little bit of trust. And we recognize that. And Hanora and I are just very honored to be a part of that process. As an Aggie Jumpstart student, we are going to be connecting with you one-on-one uh, -on -one a few times each quarter. Uh, we might even get a little creative and do some group activities, but those are definitely going to be optional. Um, being first gen, uh, Honora and I, we totally understand having to learn to navigate the university system on our own. And we want to be able to walk alongside you on that journey in your first year and beyond. You know, I'm definitely, after our first year class goes through, I know that I'm going, I've, uh, created some long lasting relationships with some students. Don't get me wrong. We already know that you have done a lot of this navigation on your own before. Um, you may already feel like what you're doing, uh, you know, you got it all handled. 
But, you know, I just want to reassure you that we're here to just be an added benefit for you, to help you feel like you're, you don't have to figure it out all on your own, maybe to give you some additional thoughts that you hadn't even considered or didn't know about of different opportunities at UC Davis. So we hope to help you find things that is going to support and um, elaborate and uh, make your first year that much more enjoyable. And we're so excited that you are going to be considering part, being part of the Aggie Jumpstart program. All right, and so I get to talk a little bit about the career discovery groups. So as I mentioned before, um, my current role is to coordinate the um, career discovery groups alongside um, one of our faculty members in the College of Agricultural and Environmental Sciences and um, staff members in the College of Agricultural and Environmental Sciences. And so there's a team that plans the career discovery groups. And what it is, is it's a three quarter course. Um, the first quarter um, is really getting to know the university, getting to know your community, getting to know yourself outside of your community of origin, right? So you're coming to UC Davis, it um, can be a, a large, <laughs> a large place for a lot of us, um, you know, stepping onto campus for the first time, or even, you know, coming into your first virtual classroom, and having so many people, um, sometimes it can be challenging to find your space, and to find your voice and to find your sense of belonging. So in that first quarter, we really spend time figuring out your skills, your values, and where you can go on campus to get the support that you need. Uh, the thing that I love about Aggie Jumpstart is that there are many aspects of this that are built into the program naturally. So it really helps focus and guide the support for you. Um, because sometimes we don't even know what we need when we first step foot here at UC Davis or into a new environment. And um, so we've done a lot of, of fantastic planning um, to, to address some of those needs that we know will come up. Um, so we spend that first quarter working on that. Um, the winter quarter is really the deep dive into career development and it's, the Career Discovery Groups is a larger program. We have 11 sections and Aggie Jumpstart will comprise two of those sections. So in the winter quarter, you get to go into the, the lecture with everybody, with all 11 sections. So you get to kind of start seeing how you are a part of a, of a bigger program. And you'll get to know new people who are all going through similar career development processes. Um, in that winter quarter. And you still get to stay with that section that you met in the fall, right? So you have the same 20 students in the fall, in the winter, and um, that's not typical for most academic courses at UC Davis. And then in the spring, you get to experience um, field trips that show some of that career development in, in process, right? So, um, we learn about the world of work, we learn about interesting and exciting careers, and then in the spring, you get to see some of those careers in action. So it's a really great opportunity to be a part of a year-long program. It's only for first-year students, only for the College of Agricultural and Environmental Sciences. In addition to being together in your cohort group, you also will have the opportunity to work with a mentor, a graduate student mentor. And let me tell you, we just selected our mentors for next year and I am very, very excited um, at the, about the mentors that we chose and their skills and their experiences that they're bringing to um, the career discovery group. And so you'll have that one mentor, that one graduate student who has been through this process, um, who can help guide you and be another resource for you through the career discovery group course. In fall, we have two specific class times that are set aside for Aggie Jumpstart. 
That's Mondays, 5, 10 to 6 p.m. and Tuesdays, 5, 10 to 6 p.m. So one of those classes, so it's one, one day a week for 50 minutes and it's one unit, pass, no pass. All of that information will be important when you attend Aggie orientation and Aggie advising um, to select your courses. Um, however, just so that you kind of have that background information, one unit in the fall, and in the winter, it's three units for a letter grade. So it's a little bit more work. We're doing the deep dive into the career advising and the career exploration. And then in the spring, it's, it's one unit pass, no pass. Um, let me just make sure that I've hit all of my, the things that I wanted to talk to, talk to you all about today. Um, I think now what I'd actually like to do is, um, so Carmen and Destiny were both in the career discovery groups for the, this last year. So would it be possible for Carmen and Destiny to sh share one of your, one of the best sort of moments from the career discovery group course from this last year? Uh, yes. Um, I feel like mostly uh, the best part from the CDG course, um, I would say um, winter quarter when we're doing the posters, um, we were just basically researching on the career we were interested in and then at the end, we will present and we'll be going around the building and just um, viewing others, presenting their um, research on like the career that they're interested in as well. So it was really fun and very interactive. And I felt that it was really helpful for me to um, look outside of like what I was planning before. So that changed my career kind of what path I was gonna take. Um, I agree with Carmen. One of my favorite moments was in winter quarter when um, we did this thing called Meet the Professionals where a bunch of professionals from different professions came in and um, they got to, they talked to us in small groups about what they did um, and we got to learn more. It also helped to make connections in a possible career that we were interested in. So yeah, that was my favorite part. Great, thank you both so much for sharing. Um, and so one of the things that I do wanna point out is that um, this, this exploration, this ability to connect with professionals in the field or this you know, really structured ability to um, explore different options, maybe with, even within something that you already knew that you wanted to do, um, this helps this helps our students focus for the rest of your time here at UC Davis, right? So if you have an understanding of what your path might be early on, you actually can be very intentional about the way that you spend your time and focus on, you know, developing that community and developing the skills that you need in a really intentional way. Um, and so I think that's one of the best benefits for the career discovery group in your first year. And with the support of the rest of the Aggie Jumpstart components, you're really setting yourself up to make the most at UC Davis. So I wanna go back to the, um, the next slide um, where Cerilio will talk a little bit about um, some of the service opportunities that Aggie Jumpstart offers. All righty. So part of the program is to, to really commit to some, doing some community service and, and giving back to, to the city of Davis, giving back to the local communities, which is part of the process of, of growing and learning as a student uh, at UC Davis. And before you exit your, your career at UC Davis as a student, really want to emphasize uh, this, this part of the experience because it means a lot to to other people that you will all impact once you head into your, your career path. Uh, so a little bit about the service and how it's integrated in the Aggie Jumpstart program. One of the pieces is that students participate in community service opportunities both in off campus. So some of them are related to uh, cleaning local parks. Uh, others are more related to 
specific agricultural opportunities like pruning trees, as you can see, uh, or the oranges, and then other ones are more local in, in the campus itself. I know uh, there's opportunities to clean the Arboretum, which is a beautiful site on our local campus. Uh, and so uh, we take that seriously on campus. Uh, we are the Aggies, and so we uh, like to promote the environment and, and the safety of it and the cleaning of it. So we'll definitely provide these opportunities to you all as part of the program to engage in on and off campus activities. Uh, the other piece is projects that are related to the fields of study within the College of Agriculture and Environmental Science. So we want to provide you a hands-on experience, uh, not only to, to apply what you're learning in class, but to also make that connection of, of how special it is to go into the field of agriculture or environmental science, and that it's not only uh, something that, that you do as a career, but it's something that really impacts lives. And so that it's, uh, we want you to provide you with these projects so that you can get that hands-on experience, which is very helpful when you think about adding uh, extra lines on your resume or cover letter uh, for future employment or research opportunities once you are done at UC Davis. Uh, the other piece is students learn more about community while developing relationships with other AGS students and staff. So part of the program and doing these activities is to get to know each other more informally and be able to connect with one another. So uh, this is, uh, again, goes hand in hand with our core mission of the program is to establish a cohort model where students support each other, where students get to know each other, uh, and then also build relationships with uh, the staff that are involved. Uh, as you can imagine, a lot of us are first generation graduates and none of us really did it alone. Uh, it takes a village and it takes support, mentors. And so the purpose of having this community is to create that opportunity. Uh, then lastly, previous service events. We uh, had the opportunity to work at Yolo County Food Bank, for example, uh, the Marriott Park Cleanup, uh, Community Yolo Harvest, and the Colin Park Tree Planting. So again, this is uh, all uh, to support the mission and vision of the college, but also to give you the opportunity to go outside of the UC Davis campus and create community with each other uh, with the Aggie Jumpstart program. And, uh, in a way, just you know, get your hands dirty and learn and, and have fun at the same time. So it definitely has a strong service component. And Destiny and Carmen, would you like to share a little uh, story about service events that you've attended? Yes, um, so I actually attended the, I believe it was the Community Tangela Harvest um there we were able to help um harvest tangelos i was able to actually connect with my friends um also as well have fun um help my community be better and basically just exploring new places which is um what i found really helpful for me um i took part at I took part in working at the Yolo County Food Bank as well as the Conlin tree planting. Um, at the food bank, um, we got to tour the bank. We got to see how big it was and the services they pro provide. But we also helped to sort because um, they had just gotten a bunch of shipment from, I think it was CBS. So I thought it was nice. <laughs> Service also plays a large role in Nike Jumpstart. Lily, could you tell us a little bit more about the types of leadership opportunities that uh, students participate in? Yeah, so uh, Corinne Haas, Co Haas, is our student leadership program coordinator, and she is the one directly related to developing and facilitating leadership activities. And some of the leadership activities that happened last year, you can see here on the slide. But one of the cool things that Co um, integrates into these um, events is that not only are all of the Aggie Jumpstart uh, crew, I'll call them the Aggie Jumpstart crew, the staff associated with the program, uh, we're all invited to attend. But 
Co. also invited our Dean, Helene Dillard, and our Associate Dean from Undergraduate Academic Program, Sue Ebler, to these events. And so it was, I heard from some of the Aggie Jumpstart students how awesome it was to be working side by side um, with both the Dean Helene Dillard and our Associate Dean Sue Ebler in those events. So uh, we hope that Aggie Jumpstart students will develop into stronger leaders as a result of these collaborative environments. It's really important for us to help um, you realize the importance of community amongst your cohort, but also to develop leadership in college and in life. Um, and also just um, to get connected with each other, again, outside of the formal classroom environment. And I'm wondering if Destiny and Carmen, um, I guess we've been going Carmen Destiny in order. So Carmen, do you have anything that you want to share in terms of any leadership workshops that you attended or something that you really enjoyed? And then after Carmen, then Destiny can share as well. Yes, I do, Lily. Um, well, I feel like mostly it was like, I'm um, expanding my leadership strengths through very interactive workshops, um, activities and group conversations as well. Um, I found them really fun and um, as I said, there were, they have activities which I feel like on the right side, I'm right there uh, with one of, um, I believe his name was David, we were just playing um, rock, paper, scissors, and whoever um, got the win, had to, the loser had to take the, a step back, and basically, um, it was just like going front and back, and it was really fun, and like, I felt like I was almost about to do the splits and I was like, now nah, I'm giving up. <laughs> so it was really fun and interactive and it's mostly just also learning about um, skills and as I said, leadership strengths. Yeah, so um, I took part in, I think most of the leadership um, workshops. I'm also, I'm actually in both, both of these pictures. Um, the day on the right, we, we got, I feel like I got to know um, more of the students because there's also this game where we had to hold as many pieces of paper together um, with just two people. You can't just hold it. You have to use like your body. Um, but I, the leadership workshops allow, allowed me to be able to get to know more of the participants as well as um, know what makes a leader. Um, so they were really fun, interactive workshops. All right. So let's talk about community at UC Davis. We have several opportunities in partnership with Aggie Jumpstart uh, for you all as participants of this first year program to connect with a diverse community at UC Davis. UC Davis is actually very unique in itself. Uh, in the sense that it has uh, several uh, very specific centers and initiatives, uh, one of them being the Center for African Diaspora Student Success, located in South Silo. Uh, if you're not familiar to, with campus yet, you will be. You become very familiar with uh, uh, this center is actually located where the food is, a lot of the food on campus. So it's exciting to, to uh, visit and, and so it's right above a, a, a student market. So it's a great location for uh, the African diaspora student to, to visit, but all students in general to build community and to build trust within uh, that community itself. Then you have the Center for Chicanx and Latinx Academic Student Success, uh, or El Centro uh, in Spanish, and it's uh, located in the Memorial Union and has been established in 2017. And it's a great center to also build community uh, with the Latinx uh, student, with a Chicanx student, but uh, is uh, highly visited by all students in general. And then the Native American Student Success Center, uh, which is located in the university house, and that is uh, by Dutton Hall. Uh, you will become more familiar with uh, the, the, these different locations, but they're spread across campus and they provide opportunities to network with Aggie Jumpstart students. Uh, for example, uh, I know that last year we had a very successful event with the Native American Student Success Community and uh, the Aggie Jumpstart Community with uh, uh, they do what they do on Wednesdays is Waffle Wednesdays. And so it's a great opportunity to build community and friendship. And they were able to uh, explore the center, learn more about the success initiative and 
uh, break some bread and eat some good sweets uh, uh, in the morning. And then uh, we also had, uh, this is uh, actually the flyer, the official flyer that, that was shared. Uh, for El Centro, we had pan dulce and chocolate. So again, if you know what pan dulce is, this is basically a sweet bread to very traditional many Latin American countries. And it was provided as an opportunity over the winter when it's cold to come in and also break bread and, and have an opportunity to chat and to learn about uh, the cultures and to learn about the centers. Um, and then I believe we also had an ice cream social. Uh, we had the opportunity to do that the African diaspora community. And so these, commu these community events will be available to you all as Aggie Jumpstart participants. And again, the purpose will be to, to build connections through community events uh, and, and across the community. And then uh, these will happen quarterly. Um, and I have just mentioned a few of the examples. And then it's just uh, in general to, to not be too formal, but informal instead, and just have a good time, hang out, meet uh, people from different backgrounds, different ethnicities, experience the awesome community of spaces uh, that UC Davis has to offer. These are just three of the student centers on campus. Uh, UC Davis uh, with the student affairs has a strong portfolio of different service uh, centers, uh, including the LGBTQIA Center as well, the Cross-Cultural Center, uh, a AB 540 on student undocumented student center, uh, we have the Student Recruitment and Retention Center that student run, student led. And so there's uh, great opportunities across campus to engage and to connect. And uh, our purpose with this initiative with community is to welcome you home and provide you a sense of belonging because, because that is key to your retention. Uh, and again, the mission of these retention initiatives is to work together to really have a data-driven research-based approach to serving you. So understanding how we uh, work together to uh, provide you with an environment where you will succeed, where we will advocate for your academic development, your academic support, and we will be in communication with the four colleges, with you know, specifically two with the College of Agriculture and Environmental Science to ensure that you're successful and to connect with you and, and just uh, offer the opportunity to informally come in chat with us and have a good time and share some food. Uh, as you all know, food is, brings happiness and food brings community. And so we look forward to breaking some bread together, uh, hopefully soon, uh, once we overcome this challenge with COVID-19. But this is a big part of the program and we look forward to meeting you in person. Carmen and Destiny, would you like to share a quick story about community events that you attended? Uh, yes, I, I would. Um, I actually attended the Pan Dulce. Um, when I was trying to find it, I kind of got lost, but I actually found Lily and she redirected me where to go. Um, overall, um, I did eat some bread. It was really good. It was a really good um, event. Um, I was able to meet new people, um, experience a new community that I felt that I wouldn't have known without being part of this um this program, but overall it was great. I had a really great experience. Um, so I attended the Native Nest Waffle Wednesday, um, and it was it was really fun. It was a really small center where we can just talk to people. Um, the people were very welcoming there. Um, I. It was, I was between classes, um, so while I was waiting, I just hung out there. I did a little bit of homework, um, and I worked on a puzzle with some of the people that were actually, um, some of the administrators, advisors that are in the Aggie Jumpstart, so I thought it was a good way to get to know people and just kind of relax. I remember that puzzle. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you all. And as it's been really addressed and talked about so far, um, we have a lot of different components or many different components of the Aggie Jumpstart program, um, which we thought about, you know, in creating this program, but 
as community is really at the forefront of, of what we want um, students to get out of being a participant in Aggie Jumpstart, as well as, um, you know, professional development and service opportunities. Um, focusing on community also means that we really, really care about what student participants think about the program um, and all of the ways that we can be um, most responsive to student needs um, to really foster that sense of community and to always be making the program better for students. So actually what you can see on the screen right here is some feedback that we got from current Aggie Drum Start students this past fall 2019. We sent out a survey to students just to check in, see how everything was going. We always like to hear from uh, Aggie Drum Start participants so we can always learn and grow um, and, and be ever evolving to make this program really what well, really good for everybody. This question, the answers you see here were in response to the question, um, what are the strengths of Aggie Jumpstart? And if you can read through these, you'll see that many students felt that the strengths were in the community and the sense of being supported through academic advising one on one with Lily and, and Honora. Um, through the various community events, um, which we offered multiple different types of events throughout the year, as Cirilo and Leslie and Lily talked about. Um, and really, it seems that students are happy with, um, with this combination of, of program offerings that we, that we have and that we've had so far and are excited to continue to offer. Um, and, you know, having Carmen and Destiny here is really important part of, of reaching out to you all, new potential Aggie Jumpstart participants. Um, we really always talk about, um, you know, the staff and students as the Aggie Jumpstart team, because to really create this sense of community, we have to check in with each other and we have to um, find out what works and, and be creative. And so this is some of the feedback we got so far. So what next, if you have been listening and you're curious about how to find out more information or what you should do? First off, if you have questions, you can email us at aggiejumpstart at ucdavis.edu. Although I hope if you're one of the folks who's watching live and has questions that you'll ask those in uh, one slide from now so that our staff and students can answer those questions. Um, you can go to our website, caes.ucdavis.edu slash students slash aggiejumpstart. Um, we have a very brief application for you to sign up for the program. Um, on the website, you'll see that little uh, pinkish purple button that says sign up here for Aggie Jumpstart. And uh, on the right side, that's an image of literally the entire application. So it's, you know, you answer six small details about yourself, seven or eight details, and then answer three questions about what you're nervous about at UC Davis, what you're excited about at Davis, uh, and then what you hope to get out of Aggie Jumpstart. So now we're gonna switch over to question and answer. We've started to get some questions in. Our presenters are gonna come back on their cameras um, and they're gonna start answering some of those questions that you're submitting. If you have other questions, remember, submit those down in the, the Q&A function at the bottom of your screen. So um, oh, I'm Leslie again. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Um, I will take the first question. So do we need to take this course in order to be an Aggie Jumpstart? So that was the career discovery course. And yes, um, it is a requirement for the participation in Aggie Jumpstart to enroll in the career discovery group. And the reason that we have that is because the career discovery group is an established program for the College of Agricultural and Environmental Sciences first year students that has a lot of the components to support our students in the transition to the university. And so while it's called the Career Discovery Group, it's really about exploring your major and your internship opportunities, your research opportunities, um, how you wanna establish yourself at UC Davis in a small group setting throughout you know, your first year. That's 
kind of a, a long topic for a, or a long title for a class. So uh, career discovery groups is the title of the course um, and it is a requirement for Aggie Jumpstart. And all of the other components are additional opportunities um, that we've identified to, to continue to support you outside of the classroom. Um, and then the spring field trips, uh, there's a question here, do the, the field trips during spring quarter um, coincide with classes? So that's a really good question. The logistics of that will be explained in the winter quarter, but to give you sort of a, an overview, the field trips are scheduled um, throughout the quarter. There's a variety of opportunities and then you sign up for the field trips as they fit into your schedule and you work with your mentor, let's say if you can only do two out of the three required, let's say, then you work with your mentor to figure out how you can um, complete that requirement for that one unit. Um, in addition to uh, that, answering those questions, there's a few questions here about, um, what fall quarter is going to look like. <laughs> and to be completely honest, um, we're not sure what it's going to look like yet. We hope to have more information about that um, in the next several weeks. What I can tell you from a planning perspective is that we are planning for both in-person and virtual learning for fall. Um, we just need to be prepared for um, both scenarios or a hybrid scenario. So um, all of our lesson plans, all of our syllabi, everything that we're developing for fall and winter quarter, we are making notes about how we're going to make it um, remote, how we are going to have virtual options and in-person options. Um, I do want to say that it is really nice to have the months of planning <laughs> instead of weeks of planning. Um, so we did a great job, you know, planning for spring quarter and being adaptable and flexible. Um, and I think we've learned a lot of really good lessons that we can bring into to fall quarter. So I think it's going to be a, a great fall quarter. It might not look the same as this year, um, but we're really excited to, you know, to bring you all into the Aggie community. I guess I can keep answering <laughs> questions. <laughs> um, <laughs> so the, another question says, uh, what if you're thinking of changing your major, including the college, but you aren't sure yet? So um, that is a, a totally, uh, it, it's appropriate for you to explore and to not know what you wanna do yet. Um, we have, and, and Lily can definitely talk about that more uh, of what that process might look like. Um, you all are admitted into the College of Agricultural and Environmental Sciences, so you qualify for this program. And so um, please do consider enrolling. We have part of our first quarter is we go through a major exploration and how it relates to the career. And we help students, you know, either find out what emphasis in their major they want to look at or want, want to focus on or you know is this major right for me there's a lot of exploration that can go on even if you know what major you want to do and so we build that into the curriculum um, to have this exploration process in the fall and in the winter i don't know lily if you want to talk a little bit more about that um about changing majors well, to be in Aggie Jumpstart, you do need to be in Career Discovery Group for all three quarters of the of the year, and it's it's not you know it sounds like oh my gosh this is this huge commitment. Um, you you know I can definitely ask you know direct this a little bit to Destiny and Carmen. It's it's really not a huge commitment. It just seems really long term, <laughs> but it's a, right. <laughs> it's a one unit class in the fall, and then a GE three unit course in the winter, and then a one unit class in the spring. So, um, and yes, we do want you to remain in the College of Agriculture and Environmental Sciences for the duration of the program. However, I would encourage you if you are interested in participating, um, go ahead and sign up and, and express your interest in the application and uh, you will be in the college, in our college for your first quarter at minimum. All students have to remain in their original college for at least one quarter, complete entrance requirements for your intended major, 
and or just if you there aren't any entrance requirements for your intended major, complete your first quarter with a 2.0 or better, and then you can do a change of major form. We'll be there with you through that process. So we can help you through that process if that's something that you're interested in. We did have, you know, a couple of students that did change at different points throughout the year into a different major. So um, so yeah, if you already are thinking about changing your major, you can still join Aggie Jumpstart for the fall quarter. We had a question about with coronavirus, if students are remote, um, will they be able to take advantage of field trips, community service, and other opportunities? Um, could anyone share about opportunities that were available this spring quarter while we were remote? Perhaps some of our students and then uh, staff members, if there's any other information that should be shared. I can share. Um, so for the career discovery group this spring quarter, we, the field trips were actually um, available. We, we did virtual field trips where we watched videos and we had to write reflections. Um, even though we couldn't like necessarily go out, it was, I thought it was still pretty cool because I still got to learn a lot about um, potential professions I wanted to go in. As for Aggie Jumpstart, they were very lenient um, with the situations. Um, they, they also gave us opportunities with leadership by watching um, TED Talks and also doing reflections, so yeah. I would agree also with Destiny. Um, they would be sending out a lot of emails, um, modifying with, like if other communities are um, doing any events, um, they will basically notify you through your email. Um, so they're, they'll still have some leaderships with CO, um, as well as, as Destiny said, some TED Talks. They're really helpful and um, yeah, they've been very, very lenient with us this spring quarter. So yes. <laughs> I'll add also that Hanor and I have gotten a little creative this quarter with our advising. So we have been scheduling one-on-one um, -on -one appointments with students through Zoom, as well as over the phone, whatever, you know, we're gonna meet you where you're at. And then the other thing that we've done that Carmen joined us for last week was, um, I think a couple times she's joined us, is we were holding a weekly office hour. So we told our Aggie Jumpstart students, you know, with everything being very unexpected and out of control, the one thing you can count on is that Honora and or Lily and any of the Eggy Jumpstart crew is going to be online for one hour a week. And we did have some of our participants pop into that office hour that we held for a variety of topics. You know, a lot of academic questions, getting involved. Last week, we were exchanging recipes <laughs> and personal jam theme songs. Maybe that was just me, but I did it anyways. <laughs> so we've been getting creative and I expect that fall won't be any different. So there's a question, um, is there a financial cost to the course? So um, in the fall, there's no course uh, materials fee. In the winter, there is a course materials fee. Um, however, there is a process through the university um, to apply for course material fee waivers. Um, and so please, please, please don't let that be the, you know, um, a deterrent. We can work with you um, from on the university side if that is, is something um, that you would like us to support you with. We can walk you through the form and things like that. And that's all handled through the financial aid office. Um, in the winter, the question is, in the winter, do you meet once a week? We actually meet twice a week. On Tuesdays, we meet as a big lecture. So that is where the career services specialist or myself, my, my role, um, does the lecture in on Tuesdays in front of everybody, the whole group. So the 11 um, different sections, your mentors are there, etc. And then on Thursdays, you get to meet with your individual section. So that's your discussion section. And um, so that's with your mentor and your 20 students that you've had since, since fall quarter. Um, and then there's a question, is a student automatically enrolled after applying or are only a select number of students chosen? So I'm going to let Marinka or um, Greg answer that one. Yeah, thanks, Leslie. 
Um, so we are definitely excited for applicants for this year. Um, as, you, as we said, this is our newest program. Um, for this coming year, we will have space in our CDG courses, I believe for 40 incoming first year students. Um, that's the right number, I believe. And so, you know, uh, we of course want as many students to apply as possible. Um, and we're really looking forward to seeing all of the applications come in. Um, because CDG is a required component of Aggie Jumpstart and one of the, you know, really integral part of the program, uh, 40 students uh, will be the, the cap for our CDG courses for incoming first year students. Oh, and I see a new a question. Of, oh, go ahead, Greg. Involvement in community events and, and mm -hmm. even food uh, that are part of the program. So all that will be without a fee to you as a participant. Mm -hmm. and you, uh, everything will be covered. I guess just to add for to, uh, the question about financial costs. Yeah, thank you for that clarification, Cedilo. The, the financial cost applies to the CDG course, not to your participation in all of the other components of Aggie Jumpstart. Um, and then where can we access this recording if our parents weren't able to attend? Great question. Um, and we're happy that you want to share it with, with those close to you uh, and perhaps those helping you make decisions about your adventures at UC Davis. Um, this recording will be posted to our website. Um, and so the link was shared in the um, chat box if you missed it in the presentation. And so you'll be able to find the link to the recording of this presentation and all of the information um, at our website. Looks like that's all of our questions. Thank you to all of our panelists. Thank you so much to all, or Greg, did you want to add anything? I think Lily, was there one other thing that you wanted to add? Yeah, I just wanted to add a couple of things. Um, and I just wanted to say number one, don't rule yourself out. I think yeah. Destiny and Carmen can, you know, either give me a thumbs up or something to signify this. But when you signed up for this program, you had no idea what you were getting yourself into. <laughs> but I think that what I have heard from the participants is that when you really invested in the things that were offered, and there's there's not a there's um, there's you should do this to be a full fledged participant of the program. But there's no have to's. We're not going to go busting down your door and be like, where were you? You weren't at the event. This is really meeting you where you're at and supporting you with your needs, making the connections, creating community. And if you like what you've seen, but you're like, I don't want to pick tangelos or learn how to prune a tree, then let us know. Let us know what you want to do. We are, we want to lead this with you and make it something that is engaging with you. So that's what I wanted to add is just that if, if you let us know what, what you're looking for and stuff, we can try to make it a part of the event um, throughout at some point throughout the year. We've got 30 weeks. <laughs> so thank you so much to all of our presenters. Thank you to our current Aggie Jumpstart students. And most importantly, thank you to all of our attendees who came to join and learn more about Aggie Jumpstart. We hope you feel like it's a good fit for you, but we're really excited to have you at UC Davis and join the UC Davis community. Um, again, you'll be able to find a recording of this webinar on our website if you wanna go back and review any other um, pieces. And thank you again. I hope you all have a great evening. <laughs>